this video is your definitive guide to stamp duty as it relates to purchasing property and land, including what it is, how much it costs and who might be exempt. Sure, it's not the sexiest of subject matters, but stamp duty is an important part of buying a property or land, so grab a cup of tea and let me take you through the essentials. Stamp duty, officially known as stamp duty land tax, is a tax you need to pay when buying a property or some land worth over a certain threshold in England or Northern Ireland. Slightly different tax rules apply in Scotland and Wales. In light of the global pandemic, the government introduced various stamp duty payment holidays and cuts, but from the 1st of October 2021, you will be charged stamp duty land tax if you purchase a residential property over £125,000. For non-residential properties, the tax threshold increases to £150,000. For any history buffs out there, the term stamp duty or stamp taxes is said to originate from the early 17th century and comes from the practice of governments charging a fee to literally stamp documents as a way to prove that certain taxes had been paid and certain transactions, such as buying a house, had been legally recorded. Stamp duty is calculated as a percentage rate that increases in staggered amounts on different portions of the price of your property or land, so the amount you'll pay will look different for everyone. For the latest tiered stamp duty rates, visit finder.com. Click the link in the top right hand corner now to go straight to our latest stamp duty info page. You could also be entitled to a discount if you're a first time buyer, and different rates may apply if you're buying a second home or you're not a UK resident. You can absolutely file your stamp duty return and pay the tax bill yourself, but typically your conveyancer, estate agent or solicitor will take care of everything for you and include the cost of the tax in their fees. Whichever route you go, your stamp duty return must be filed with HMRC within 14 days of completion on your property purchase. Some lenders will let you borrow extra money on your mortgage to cover your stamp duty, but this isn't always the best option as you'll end up paying interest on this amount for as long as you're paying off your mortgage. There are a number of situations where you won't have to pay stamp duty or file a return. These include instances where the property is left to you in a will or transferred to you as a gift. If the property is transferred to you as part of a divorce or dissolution of a civil partnership, or if you buy a freehold property for less than £40,000. If you're unsure as to whether any of these apply to you, or you want to check out the full list of exemptions, check out the gov.uk or HMRC websites. I've included links to their sites in the description below. For more information on all things stamp duty, mortgages and buying a new property, head to finder.com. I've tagged a whole bunch of useful links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. As always, thanks for watching.